All right, cool, cool, cool. Happy Saturday, everybody. Hope you had a good Friday evening. I had a boring one, but I find ways to entertain myself. Looking like a nit, like a fool, but it's okay. Good times in America. You gotta seize happiness any way you can find it in this miserable fucking life. You really do. Everyone seems like they're against you. Everyone's so nasty all the time. I, I choose to be positive and have fun in any given situation. It's just, you know, we don't know how much time we have left on this earth. So there's no point being some nasty troll asshole on the internet. I choose to lift people up instead of pushing them down. But that's just me. Haters are going to hate. Speaking of haters, fuck you. All right, so uh, the Rex's Bolt arrived, finally. Let me uh, get this Nod's case out of here. Everything's protected. There's no battery in it. I'm not in a rush to put it back in the safe just yet. Let's move this over here for now. Now, essentially, this was what I should have got first. I think Scott even told me, just get the Rexus. He has a JP2, and his was functional, but it was also loose. The gas ring thing we already talked about. This is the cat carrier that wouldn't run the JP. Now, uh, when Scott was nice enough to lend me his new Rexus when we first took the 6 Arc out, uh, it ran fine in this carrier, which is weird. So the tolerances might be different. Definitely, it's much tighter. So I don't know. Um, we'll try both. The JP is in the Triarch in the gun right now, carrier. And the Rexus, we kind of already know, ran fine in this carrier. So we'll. I have a, I have other carriers, but. It ran fine in the CAC, so... I mean, guys are telling me, dude, there's nothing really special about this CAC carrier. So I'm like, all right, well... It wasn't a lot. It was like $116, $120 for the carrier. Around there from... I uh, bought it on rooftop. I just saw a CAC carrier. I wanted something CAC, I guess. <laughs> it is chrome-lined, so I thought that was good. Uh, at any rate, dog, get out of here. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this assembled, and then, uh, it's a beautiful day today, but I'm doing stuff other than this, obviously. Clean up more in the garage and whatnot, so I might shoot over tomorrow, I'm not sure, and give this and the JP a test. I don't have a shit ton of six arc, and my order from Gun Mag Warehouse got delayed until Monday, I believe. 6.5 Creedmoor, I had two boxes in that order, and I just heard back from Danny. He already shipped my uh, 6.5 Creed more for the bolt gun, so more than likely we'll have to wait till next week uh, to test those. It is what it is. But I might get out and do a little pistol stuff tomorrow, and I might do a little bit of uh, 6 arc, not much. Maybe go to the 100, work on a few groups, mostly to test the two carriers side by side to see which one it prefers. At some point down the line, maybe we'll do a second six arc build. At that point, all I'll need is a barrel. Uh, I don't know. So, let me get this assembled. Let me find my oil. Throw a few drops here and there. And then we'll uh, get this party started and get it in the gun. Cool. Alright. I have a hops number nine. I haven't opened yet in the garage. But this Lucas stuff is pretty good all purpose. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to put a couple of drops on the bolt itself. Well, it's more than a couple of drops. And just lube it up a little bit, reduce that friction. I read that it's good to put a drop or two on the gas rings. And turn them around a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and uh, as far as cost, the Rexus setup is a lot more affordable than JP. I think the Bolt was 75 and then the cam pin, you have to buy them a la carte. They don't, the cam pin, the retainer pin, firing pin were all pretty cheap. 
and uh, ran great first test when I used Scott's. I mean, I'm I'm not pissed that I bought both because JP has such a good reputation. The gas ring thing, I still scratch my head on a bit, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna send it back. If it runs in the triarc, great. If I still have problems, I might reach out again and say, "Look, man, this thing is not functioning properly." What you guys got to do something for me. At least let me send it back. You can send me another one. Maybe I got a one that's a little problematic. I don't know. It's six R specific, so I can only run it. Getting a little resistance there, a little too much. See, it's only it's wicked tight. Starting to wonder if this carrier is a little goofy. That's a lot of pressure to have to take it out of. That is so weird. You know what? Let me do a quick test with another carrier. Hold on a sec. All right, this is an AO Precision. I'm starting to wonder about this cat carrier, man. Get your cam pin out of there. Look at these mixed up, Jake. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a similar resist. Okay, all right. So I just, I'm so used to the JP was so loose. All right, so we're getting similar resistance there. Okay. That's, well, that's a lot less resistance than the CAC. See, a little extra pressure needed, which may be a good thing, but the initial insertion is a little, see right there, it's like, oh, you got to really push. Um, all right, so do I want to run the cack or do I want to just play it safe and run something that's got a little bit, but it ran fine in Scott's though. See, there's a little bit of resistance there, but it's not extreme like the CAC. Could the chrome lining be an issue? Where it just or is it just the Alright, we'll stick with the CAC. It ran fine the first time. If we have problems we can always swap it out. There you go. Nice and easy. Okay. Yeah, that will not fully insert. That is so weird. It's almost like it's open a bit too much. Yeah, there's no... Just a side effect of... They probably made a whole batch of these that are probably fucked. Something just happened where it's just open slightly too much. All right, so we're going to have to get another, some spare of these, I guess. The one that Rex has sent is the DOA. It's just too big. There's no way to crimp it to make it. Yeah, 
it's not, it's just constantly opening. It's so fucking weird. Steady running in the walls, man. Alright. I'll find somewhere and order some extras, I guess. It's not the end of the world, but this one does work in this one. Alright, so Mr. Rexus. I guess you're good. Alright, so. He's ready to test. Weird about that retainer pin. Never seen one that open before. They probably send out a ton of these or dudes are like, what the hell, bro? Alright. We'll see how she does. Well, after a little more coaxing and spinning around and trying it, gave it a little light tap, it finally worked its way in. I might give it, uh, put it back in this one, given how tight it is. Cool. No, see, that wouldn't work. See, the exit hole on the, this is the CAC here. This is the A O Precision. The exit hole is slightly smaller, it appears. In the, on the CAC. So, a bit of a tighter tolerance there. Okay. All right. How tired are you? You're pretty tight. Giggity. <laughs> Definitely need to get extended pivots for this guy. Alright, so this is the Triarch with the JP. Mr. Lucy Goosey here. And here is the CAC. Stuff dries though. Let's really get some uh, Sotar sauce on it. Order some more uh, snake oil from FCD. That's good stuff, too. Nice solid click. Which really means nothing, right? Feels good, I mean, but so did the other one with the JP. Gas strings being that loose, it's still blow my mind. Now they did say, the guy emailed me, he says if you want it tighter, you can always swap out the gas rings for like a mil spec set. But why spend all that money for a bolt? Now, you're not just spending it for the gas rings, right? <coughs> <coughs> the bolt lugs themselves. <coughs> Not sure how different they are from a, a standard. Here's a uh, Sons of Liberty NP3 compared to the JP. It's oriented the right same way. Um, the lugs on the Suns, oh, granted it's 5.56, five, a little beefier, a little longer, but again, it's a different caliber, so that might be natural. All right, well, we're going to rock it like that for now. I mean, I guess we could just run the MP3, negate uh, the cat carrier altogether from stacking tolerances. But for now, we're gonna we're gonna try it. Worst case, I can swap the bolts over. It ran fine the first time with the Rexus. Hopefully, it'll run good again. And then uh, it is what it is. Cool. I'm just about done. That'll work. Peace.